Welcome to the Museum of the Movie and Image and Indie Cades exhibit here with, well, I'm gonna do that again because I, that sounded weird. Welcome to the Museum of the Movie and Image where the museum is partnered with Indie Cade to do an exhibit called Indie Essentials, which is 25 must play video games. Uh, so I'm here with all of the curators, uh, or most of the curators, I think we're missing one. Um, but uh, <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> the exhibit opens in two days. We have our opening party tonight, and we're super excited. We just wanted to give you guys a little tour of how incredible the space looks and what an amazing job the museum has done setting up. Um, so we have a huge, wide selection of games here. We have award winners from this past year's Indicate Festival, and we balanced those with 15 sort of uh, deeply influential and amazing games from the time before that. Not the only influential and amazing games, but many influential and amazing games that have come out. Um, the spaces are sort of divided, so we have an area here that's got a lot of like multiplayer, which is a big thing that's happening now in the independent games movement in general. Uh, lots of local multiplayer with Space Team and Killer Queen Arcade. Um, is that all? We've also got games here that can't be played anywhere else. We have Killer Queen Arcade. We have Tower Fall Ascension, which is not released yet. And Slash Dash. And Slash, Slash Dash, Dash, which is unreleased. They're both around the corner. We also have some things exhibited in ways you're not going to get to see them anywhere else. Uh, so we'll walk around and you'll get a glimpse at the end of the video of Passage, uh, which is a great classic indie video game that's set up in a very specific presentation style here in the museum uh, to sort of enhance its visual and audio experience. Uh, let's just keep on creeping through. You're a good tour guide, Sam. Alien Hominids, I don't know, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Swap out of this. Uh, it's almost impossible. Uh, here we have flour and bread and machinarium. Uh, these are all very early, actually, in these successes. And, and this is an important component of the exhibit. <laughs> it's um, so you can ride between. <laughs> well, this is Doggy Dog, which is one of the uh, festival award winners from this year's festival. It's a tabletop role-playing game about um, colonialism. So really fun. No, <laughs> it's actually enormously fun, but it's a little depressing. Um, this is Quadrilateral Cowboy, Today I Die in the Path. Uh, Today I Die is a fantastic game, uh, which is actually several years old now, and I don't see really people talking about as much. Um, it's hard, I mean, I guess you can still download it, but this is sort of like a unique, high-quality version of the presentation. It's a great place to come and see it in a way you wouldn't normally get to see it. And the Quadrilateral Cowboy is a... And Quadrilateral Cowboy out yet. is totally unreleased. This is, uh, in fact, the Grand Jury winner for Minicade this year. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to play it, which you haven't, you should come out to the museum and check it out. Um, we also have The Path, just a beautiful, beautiful Tale of Tales game, presented in full visual color with projection and sound. Oria Harvey is going to be giving a keynote. Oria Harvey is going to be giving a keynote at the conference this year, says Kevin Cancy in one of our conference chairs. Um, and then back here we have Porpentine's Twine compilation. Kentucky Route Zero and Dear Esther, which are all very exploratory, meditative games to some degree. The Twine compilation, if you play Kesha and Crystal Warrior Princess, is not meditative, but is awesome! <laughs> uh, go on, go on. Uh, and then uh, one of my favorite games of all time, uh, Everyday Shooter, the, uh, the album CD multi-stick shooter. I'm not <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, and then finally, here's Passage. As you can see, the museum works really hard to present the game in specifically just the um, original pixel ratio that Jason designed it in. Uh, the game was actually made for a prompt at the Gamma Festival. Um, so it was very specifically supposed to be projectable and showable in just a line of pixels like this. Um, and it's, you know, unless you are, are really interested in slapping a bunch of duct tape on your computer monitor, it's kind of hard to actually play it this way. Um, Passage is an amazing game that lets you experience sort of like what a life might be like and where you make choices between exploring, searching for riches, searching for happiness, searching for true love. Um, this is playable on the internet right now, and if you've never played it, you should go play it right now at home before coming to the museum experience it in this, the ultimate way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the game?
Oh, oh yeah, more games. Cannibals and World of Goo. These are both um, early iOS successes. Not that early, I guess, for Cannibal, but uh, both incredible games. Um, and both really, not genre defining, but both led to an explosion of games that follow and pursue some of the same types of mechanics and structures for gameplay. Uh, in fact, you have probably played many, many physics-based puzzle games and endless runners on your personal iPhone. I don't know whoever is watching this go. So this is our exhibit. Aaron, why don't you sum it up? Uh, well, hope you can, have you come down? Uh, we have Jason Epping here, uh, who is works for the museum. He's a curator of digital media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. He has been an excellent help for yeah, it's been a great collaboration. Uh, um, great Stephanie Marsh, the CEO of Indiecade. Um, I'm Aaron Isaacson. I'm helping run Indiecade East Indiecade. Festival this year, which is February 14th to 16th, and this exhibit is opening on December 14th, and it's running through March 3rd. If you live in the East Coast, you should definitely come by and check it out. We're here in Queens, easy M train or R train. Yeah, uh, or M train. Or M. Um, We're at 3601 35th Avenue. Very good. Yeah. Woo! Is he with the moving image? Yes. Any essentials? We've been working very hard on this, so I apologize if any of us are tired or confused. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, And thanks to Kevin, who's our uh, conference chair and, and photographer. Beautifully skilled photographer.